Hey, my lovelies. I want to come on here. It's kind of something a little silly. Maybe not silly. First of all, welcome to my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Press the like button when you like any of my videos. This is going to be a, probably a little chit chatty, but I promise I won't stay on too very long. Too long, okay? I wanted to show you how my hair looks today. It, it, to you, it probably doesn't look any different, but to me, it's getting so full and I'm just so excited and I just loved it. So I figured today might be a good day to just go on. Something big is happening. My daughter's having a baby. So I'm so excited, but really soon within the next week, I look forward to doing some vlog videos, okay? Guess what vlog videos require? Editing. Ed editing. And you know I am like hashtag one take. <laughs> Hashtag no editing, hashtag no filter. Well, I, sometimes I use a filter, so I can't say that. But anyway, so I'm gonna need y'all to pray for me. But I don't. I want to share this experience with you. I want to share the experience of going to another country, the Netherlands, and um, just being there for my daughter and her baby shower and all those things. And comment below if it's something you'll be interested in seeing because I don't want to assume you want to see that kind of stuff if you're. You know, you could take it or leave it, but you all have always been so supportive and loving and uh, part of my journey. I just thought that would be something that you might want to see. So this Thursday, when I normally put up a video, I will be traveling. <laughs> so, um, and I don't think I'll be able to post it because of my phone and everything. And um, next Thursday, I think I'll be traveling also. No, I'll be, I'll be probably not traveling, but... Um, I just wanted to hear a comment from you to see if that's something you're interested in. If so, then now I'm going to force my son. Now, this is the weird part here. I don't do editing and my son is an editor. But he's a teenager, you know. It's, it's not as easy to get him to work for mom. No, he's a wonderful young man. But I think he's probably going to love this project because I'm going to try and videotape as much as I can. And I'm going to get her to show you her hair, like I've been telling you about my daughter and her hair, how she hasn't cut it in like four or five years because she used to, she went through a stage where she was dyeing her hair all kinds of colors and it was like really bright, green, blue, all kinds of colors. I had to do light, regular light because I, did, I didn't get to videotape in the day today. So I just said, oh, well, I guess I'll just put some light in front of me and videotape. So anyway, I'm thinking of getting a little better light, by the way, that could really be good. But anyway, my daughter told me about it. She dyed her hair all different colors and her hair was strong enough to take it, but she was already on a hair journey before she did all that. So she knew how to take care of her hair and she obviously had stronger hair than me. And she was able to, um, um, she had that strong, thick, each strand is coarse, it's thicker than mine, but it's, and it's curly, but as she got older it got like bigger curls like big ringlets and then it turned into waves and she just had like you know the weaves that we used to buy that was like wet and wavy yeah that's her hair anyway so I was trying to be the cool mom and I might have told you the story already so excuse me if I have and I would um said to myself okay it's just hair at least she's not out there doing crazy stuff or anything she just wants to dye her hair she was always such an amazing young lady and you know we're God fearing very uh, Christian family, just love the Lord, wonderful. But it went through a lot because her dad passed away. So I think that's when it came back to her. And so this was a time when she was just trying to find her identity and she was changing her blue. And, you know, it, I remember it was green. First it was hot pink. Then I think she went purple and then she went blue and green. And I was just like trying to keep calm. I was trying not to get embarrassed when we went to church in front of the pastor. I was trying to do, I was like, I'm going to stay calm and be the cool mom. Because I used to teach high school and I always felt like, okay, when I have high school kids, I'm going to be a cool mom. Yeah, okay. When it's your kids, it's totally different. Everybody else's kids don't mind talking to you, but when it's time for you to, you to have a teen, it was not, I heard people say that. It wasn't as easy. It's like, here I was, like a counselor, life coach. I mean, I was a, I can speak to a teen or a young adult, like, it's like my thing, you know? But when it came up to my own child, someone else had to talk to her. I had to have like, she needed some aunties, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so it was, she was ready and we were having talks and we were talking about the Lord and about what is it doing for you? Why are you doing this? What's going on inside? And we went through all that. But when she was finally ready to not stop it and she wanted her hair back because the natural hair community started getting bigger, I think she started noticing, wait a minute, I have some pretty curls. Why did I, am I messing up my hair? So she decided to get chopped. Like, I guess it's, it was a big chop for her. 
So I helped her. I cut her hair. And then she went and got it into a shaped out, into a nice haircut. But when I cut her hair, that blonde that was in her hair, um, that at the end, she still had like light brown. So we thought, oh, that's kind of nice. It looks like highlights. And I remember it was like a few patches of like light brown. And I would watch her hair grow. I mean... I, we had our hair, my hair was actually natural before hers, but I had been dyeing it blonde and light brown that literally on my wedding, the day before my wedding day, I think I said this to y'all, I, I um, hot, hot curled, hot combed it or whatever you call it, straight iron, whatever y'all do. I don't, I never do it. What's it called? Flat ironed it. And she was cringing because she knows so much about hair. And um, I was like, what's the problem? I said the story already. But Sure enough, my hair started falling out afterwards and I had to start all over again. If you look at my pictures, my videos from before, you can see the literally see my hair progression. Sort of like if you went, you can see, you can see from when I had the weave to when I took my weave out to when the, the, um, the hair started falling out till when I was okay, I dyed the ends, it got short and then it started growing and then it died, fell out again. Like you can see it in all my videos. Like it's just amazing how my hair journey is in my videos last five years. So in 2015 when I got married this is all new deliberate healthy hair since then so I definitely my my journey this new journey of no dying I think it was and I might have dyed it darker just to get the ends darker but has been two years and November December January two years and two months for with this okay and so I do want to tell you a tip about hair growth, by the way, so I might put that in there. But anyway, I say all that to say that when I'm there with her, I want to show you her hair, and I want her to talk to you all on the video, okay? Now, as long as she is not like in labor or anything, then I can do that. But just comment below if you're interested in, in seeing this vlog and me put it together, because I'm going to do all this editing for you to share with y'all, but if you're not interested, then, you know, I'll just save it for like, you know local family and friends, you know? But if you want to see the vlog, vlog of me traveling and doing all that, then comment below and let me know that you're interested and I'll definitely put the energy in to put it together. Now, once in a while, I don't mind putting the energy in for for um, editing when it's some one big thing or a special thing. Um, believe it or not, when it comes down to my professional acting and my videos and my DVD, I'm like high end with all that stuff, you know? But I want to be able to just, I want this to be comfortable. You know, I might not like it if I have to always worry about editing. And I don't want to not ever not like this. You know what I mean? I want to always feel comfortable coming on talking. So that's why I don't want to do it on a regular basis because that adds another layer of work for me. And I'm already, I already got like about four or five hats. You know, ministry, the soccer program for the women and the children, a mom, a wife, now a grandma to be. So this is what I picked y'all. I picked Yaya as my grandma name. Let me know what you think of that. I just found out that that um, from a girl in my class, Coco. Hey, girl. I know Miriam's going to get jealous if I don't say hi to her too. Hi, Miriam. Those are the girls in my class from Africa. Love them so much. But anyway, um, she was telling me that that is a, I think she said it was a Congolese name. Yaya. They call call their grandmas uh, Yaya in the Congo. I'm not sure. And that's amazing because I use Congolese music. Yay. So that's exciting to me. That's even more exciting. I named my daughter's middle name Shani, which is supposed to be marvelous in Swahili. So I love that, you know, when I'm doing stuff African and stuff. So that just makes me even happier that Yaya is an African name. That's something that an uh, endearing grandma name for children in the con in con the Congo. So the Congo. So um, I'm really excited about that. You know, I do the do the belly, the dancing from the Cong Congo, Congolese dancing and all that. So that really means a lot to me. So I just figured I've been holding back like all that's going on inside about, you know, being grandma and all that kind of stuff. So I figured I'd share that with you all, let you know that that's happening and then, you know, do a vlog and, you know, let you in on what's going on in my life right now. You know, it's funny, Curly Proverbs is having a baby and that's really exciting and I, I look forward to seeing, you know, those vlogs that have to do with that and I, um, I think Curly... Um, Natural 85 just had a little one because I think I just saw it on Instagram, a little boy, so cute. So, I mean, I just think it's such a blessing. So, I'm in another stage. Well, I think biologically, I probably still could have children. I just feel like it, I'm over that stage in my life, and now I'm in a stage of just focusing on my my new babies or other things, you know, and being a grandma and being there for my daughter, you know. So, I'm excited about that. She just turned 20. She was married the year uh, year. In 2016, she got married, and now they're having their little baby, so God bless her. So I hope that you, you uh, enjoy 
talking to my daughter. I'm going to get her on there. She is so smart. She's a little different from me because I'm like really like chatty and talkative. She's very calm. And um, sometimes she might come across around me. Sometimes she might seem shy, but maybe not. Maybe she's changed, you know, since she's been in a different country. So I'd love to share with you all the different things in this new country, in this country, some of her family members, um, her baby shower, maybe a few clips from her baby shower. You know, if I get to give you a clip of the baby, I'll ask their permission about that. But don't worry, I'm sure I'll be able to do that another time if you don't get to see the baby or something. But anyway, I just wanted to because I feel, you know, like I feel like we are friends and, you know, I got to share things when they happen. So I just want to know what y'all thought of that. You know, if you're interested in that vlog, then I'll put that energy into it and get it all nicely edited. It may not come out right away, but just know that the reason why I won't be um, uploading Thursday coming up is because I'll actually be traveling and um, I won't be able to be up. I won't be, my phone won't be able to do that and all that. So I may end up doing it on the weekend um and definitely during the week okay so i might have regular videos like this where they're not quite edited they're just kind of simple hey you know little clips and you may be saying hi to my daughter and stuff and then i'm going to put together a really nice vlog of of the whole trip like things that i'm seeing and all things that i'm doing maybe some unique things that maybe you'd be interested in seeing okay all right um i am getting some orders for the uh, growth oil i'm really excited about that keep it up thank you so much for telling me that your hair is doing very well I think I'm going to address a question that someone asked me today. I'm going to address it on the video. I want to quickly say a few things to you, okay? Just a few little things. We're still in the journey. We're still on our challenge. We're at the end of January. By now, you should have two inches if you started in October. Somebody said they started in November and didn't quite see growth. The only thing I can say is please check your intake. Are you drinking enough water? Have you stimulated your scalp? Do you have any problems with anemia? Are you needing iron? And if you are, then make sure you get vitamin D and vitamin C. Are you taking in vitamins as well? I would encourage you to look into making sure that you have all the iron you need, your multivitamin, and try some biotin, liquid biotin is what I've learned from YouTube actually that works. It's January. It's a great time to start eating well and maybe make some smoothies with it in there. Okay? But I encourage you to start thinking about what's going in your body. If you're telling me that your hair is feeling great, it's moisturized, it's manageable, that means you've taken care of the outside. Maybe it's something in the inside. So comment below if it's if I'm answering your question and you thought about it and you're like, wait, I could drink a little bit more water. So put more greens, more vegetables, drink more water. It's the intake probably if you're not seeing the growth. The other thing is, is that you don't quite see the growth unless you're actually measuring. So make sure that you are measuring your hair so that you can see the difference in the measurements. Because and it's, I don't even know if that, because I can see the growth in my hair. And in some places, I don't quite see the measure different. But I remember I told you I was going to change my method and make it better. So that's one thing. I want to tell you something else. Every month, I would like you to try, let's do our inversion method one more time. Let's do it this month in January. I'm not going to be able to do it because I'll be traveling, but I want you to do it this January, okay? And we can do it again at the end of February and again at the end of March, okay? This is a little tip. If you do the inversion method the second week, second to the last week, you will hopefully gain at least an inch, then trim. So if you gain hair and then trim a little, then that's a good time to trim. So if you're going to trim your hair, do it after a weak inversion method. Okay, and I will click below up to above of what that is. I have to find the video and click it. So if you see this video before I get to click it, come back later and it'll be clicked. Okay, or look on look through my library and look for the inversion method video. Um, another thing I want you to do this month, if you have time this week, pick a treatment. And this is what I want to tell you the difference between a treatment and my growth oil. My growth oil is a, an oil, as you know, it's nourishing to the, to the strands, strengthening the strands itself, nourishes it, moisturizes it. As you said, that it's made it more manageable. It does, it does some things to the hair while stimulating hair growth at the same time. That's what makes the growth oil so special. It's not just growing your hair, but it's also strengthening, moisturizing, conditioning. It's doing some amazing things to the hair. And that's why we want to keep that on a daily basis in our hair. Constantly putting it in your hair. If you're ready for a re, you me to resend you some more hair growth, send me an email at sockadance at gmail.com and I'll send you another one um, when you place your order, okay? Um, but these treatments I'm talking about, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you put it on your hair strands. They're specifically for the scalp. And they're just, you put it on the scalp, 
Massage it in your scalp, put on your cap, leave it in for as long as you're going to do it. You can do the level one, which is 10 to 15 minutes, level two, 30, 30 um, I think it's like 20 to 45 minutes, or level three, one hour to four hours, maybe seven. Okay, that's remember the P level one, two, and three. I can link that up too. But I want you to think of January, find a treatment, the onion treatment, the pumpkin treatment, the um, black seed treatment. Find something you know is great for the skin. Fenugreek treatment. Mix it. Do I like? I'm gonna try this one. I like this idea. Black seed mixed with fenugreek, mixed with um, black castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil. Imagine putting that together. Maybe I don't think you're supposed to heat up the black seed, but maybe warm it a tiny bit. Blend it really good. Maybe let it sit overnight. And only your scalp. See, the treatments, when I say treatment, I'm talking scalp. When I say uh, growth oil, that is, for my growth oil, I'm keeping certain potent things out that I'm not sure what it will do to your your strands. So I would leave that aside and keep it in a treatment. Okay? So um, definitely you can... You know, put that. You can put butters on your hair. You could put um, the growth oil on your hair. You could put almond oils and all those on your hair. But these treatments, I would leave on just the scalp. So you know the difference between treatment and the growth oil. Okay, growth oil is conditioning the hair and doing a lot of strengthening and great things to the hair. The can the uh, treatments. You're just doing a one shot deal. You don't do it every single day. So you can do those treatments with the inversion method. For example, at least pin, pin pick one day of that seven days that you're gonna in invert your body and massage, pick one of them for a treatment. So in January, do a treatment, do another treatment in, in um, February and one in March. Keep uh, Measure your hair this month and keep measuring it. And one last tip, I wanted to talk about something and I'll talk about it another time, but I wanted to quickly tell you, people have been growing their hair. When you grow your hair, these are things I've been thinking about, I wanted to just tell you real quick. I want you to realize that everybody on YouTube that I've seen with long hair, when I would say long hair would be like bra strap, Elor, um, they were at the five year mark. Just think about that. Notice that? So I'm in two years. You might just be in six months, a year. So give yourself a five year plan. There was one girl that was seven years and she had a setback, a craving curly. You guys know who she is. She said YouTube broke her hair. She did seven years. And it makes sense. Her hair is like all down the middle of her back. I think Pearly Curly Prophets is about that long. Everybody who's done at least five years, you can see length. So let's keep that in our minds. We're going to grow at different states, but we're going to feel like it's long, probably at the fifth year mark. Because that's what I see across the board. I want to just give you that little takeaway and just pace yourself and just know that enjoy the journey. I'm enjoying the style. Enjoy styles in every stage of your hair. Okay, well, God bless you, and I hope to see you again this week. If I don't, you know why. I'll be seeing you on the weekend, okay? God bless you. Comment below if you want to see my um, vlogs, okay, my, my um, vacation vlogs. Love you guys so much. Keep Jesus a part of your journey, and go ahead and check out my Joy Party TV video videos that I've been posting if you're ready for some real sermon stuff. It takes, there's a, they're our video, so brace yourself. I have one on depression for anybody suffering with that, so please uh, go ahead on there and be blessed. God bless you. Bye.